Hi everyone, I'm Mike Staver. This is Money's with Mike, a weekly video series where I answer questions from people like you. Here's this week's question. Dear Mike, I'm coming up on a birthday. It's a big one. <laughs> I hate aging. Can I share something with you? So do I. I don't. I don't dig it. I really do. Yeah, me too. I really do too. Please don't say it's better than the alternative. I know, don't you hate that? I hate that. Um, Billy Graham one time was asked this question. Dr. Graham, how do you feel about aging? And Dr. Graham said, uh, I don't recommend it. Avoid it if you can. I love that answer. That is such a good answer. Please don't say it's better than the alternative. What can I do to come to terms with my age and the fact that there are many more years behind me than there are in front of me? Wow, that's a tough question. Yeah, and my young band with me is just looking at me like, I don't know what to tell you, Grandpa. So, uh, I'm coming up on a birthday. It's a big one. I hate aging. I really do. Please don't say it's better than the alternative. What can I do to come to terms with my age and the fact that there are many more years behind me than in front of me? Well, you didn't tell me what the big one was. Let me just tell you, I don't think it's a big one until you hit 60, 70, or 80 in terms of the context of what I'm about to share with you. I'm not judging your perspective. I'm just saying when you get in your mid-50s and forward, um, they become bigger. And let me tell you why. Uh, I'm not going to give you all the boring details about the research and Erickson's work with personality, but I will tell you this, that there are stages in life. The earliest stage in life, mid-stages, secondary, third stages, so forth, and then end stages. If you are 55 or older and asking this question, and I assume you are, you've entered into a period of your life that's, I call it the reflective period. It's not really the reflective period in terms of reflecting back on your life, but it does um, create a question exactly like the question you're asking. This is why it makes me think that the big one is 60, 70, or 80, because the question you asked, ironically, and thank you for this question, is the exact question that people ask when they enter that stage in life. It's generally a subconscious question, so congratulations to you for asking this question consciously. What can I do to come to terms with my age and the fact that there are many more years behind me than there are in front of me? So this is a contribution question. This is a under, the underlying uh, notion of this question, I'm assuming, this is the question you're asking sort of underlying, is am I, have I had an impact? You know, here I am at 60, or here I am at 65, or 70, or 80, 75, whatever it is, or 55. Have I really had an impact? And that's how you come to terms with it. You come to terms with the reality of it. Maybe you need to do a little grieving of it, right? Maybe you need to go, wow, man, things have really changed. I totally get it. I'm going to be 60 years old in October. I understand the need to ask that question. I get it. What I want you to do, though, is look at the many, the years ahead of you that you have more than the years behind you, which is probably true, uh, in terms of contribution, in terms of impact, in terms of what you're going to do with those years in a meaningful way. Maybe you're still working. I fully plan on working. In fact, I talked to my financial planner uh, on Monday of last week and asked him, hey, if I quit today, uh, how, long could I, how long could I live? And he said, Thursday. So I'm going to be, I'm going to, I'm going to be working for a while. So what I'm trying to figure out is what is my career? What does my impact look like in the years to come? And that's what I think you want to ask too. What does your work look like? Unless you're retired. And uh, if you don't ask that question, you can still ask the second question, which is what is your impact going to be? How are you going to impact others in a meaningful way? When it comes to the years that have passed, what you want to do is ask, where have I put a meaningful, as Steve Jobs said, a meaningful dent in the universe? Where have I had impact? And everybody has. In some way, there's always time. As long as you have breath to breathe and days to live, you have a way to make an impact. So that's how you come to terms with it. Hope that was helpful. I'm Mike Staver. If you have a question, send it to mikestaver.com forward slash moneyswithmike. We'll be happy to answer your question. Take care, everybody.